Welcome to Albedo, a game of space colonization and deck building. Who's going to win? The blue player or the red player? And we're going to start by revealing two planets. Now, if you need to learn how to do all the setup, you can check out the how to play video. Next, each player is going to draw six cards and then decide which cards they're sending to fight over which planet. OK, so they've picked their cards got the blue player and the red player so we're starting with planet one here and right we have from the blue player a fighter a fighter a fighter oh and then we've hit the two so just three fighters so that's free air and free ground and for the red player we have an infantry a fighter a fighter a fighter a fighter an ace pilot and then we hit planet two so um we've got one two three four seven air so i think we can safely say that uh, the red player is going to have first pick on the landing spot here now how much ground strength have they got we've got two three four five six so they've just got six and what they're going to do is they're going to land at the top of the card here to take the six points. Then the blue player only has three ground combat, so they can't land at the bottom. They can't land here because the red player already did. So that only leaves the middle planet here. So they could either give up a card or they can buy a card. And I think what they're going to do is buy a card. The only option is this kind of factory-esque symbol, which will get them a robotic inventory into their discard pile. And of course, the red player gets the six points. We then discard the leftover card. Oh, no, we, we still need to fight over that. What am I saying? Uh, so we get rid of all of the cards used into discards. And we're left with our second planet. So red player sent nothing. Not surprising given how many cards we saw for first planet. But the blue player did. So their air combat is actually irrelevant because they're not in competition with anyone. But they have got four ground combat. So they could either take four points, buy a card for four, or do a couple of things here. And they're going to take the four points. Then we start a new round, revealing two more planets and each drawing six cards. So we're now out of cards. We shuffle discards to become our new deck and continue drawing till we have our six. And now each player will pick where they're going to land. So both players have chosen and it's time for the reveal. Uh, we'll start with the red player this time. So. We have a fighter, a fighter, a fighter, infantry, infantry, infantry. So again, they put all their cards into planet one. So how much air combat is that? Two, four, five. So five. Not a huge amount still. But then blue player, we've got a fighter, infantry, infantry. Okay, so they, they've, they've kind of split. So they've only got two combat so red's going to choose first so red has one seven <laughs> so red is going to use their seven ground combat to take the seven points and blue is then left with four ground combat and hmm so they could land here they could get rid of a card and get one of these takeoff things which would be a heavy fighter or they could get a power armor kind of likes the look of the power armor so it's going to take that which goes into their discard pile and of course red got the points Then planet two, red has ignored that. It's interesting, this one has zero points, 
and it has multiple opportunities to buy cards instead. Now, the blue player here has two, three, four ground combat. So you can actually choose to either get a second power armor or a destroyer or another robotic infantry and get rid of a card for a point. Oh, I mean, I quite like the look of the destroyer. So I think, I think blue will go for the destroyer into their discard pile. And then we get rid of this card. And we reveal two more planets. Whoa, so high scoring one this time. We've got an eight. Um, whew. Okay, and then drawing cards. So choices are made. And we're going to start with blue player. So planet one, we've got a power up, just, just power armor. Okay, well, that's still one air combat and four ground combat. And red player, uh, Zero. Okay, well, so yeah, uh, red player has ignored this and the blue player did. So the blue player is going to take the four points. And then planet two. Now they've both gone in here, so we've got from blue, fighter, 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 ace pilot, robotic infantry, giving, whoa, Three, five, seven, eight air combat. So they really want this. What about red? Well, they've got one, two, five, only five air combat, even though they've got more cards in there. It, it just shows, you know, sometimes getting the more powerful cards can make a difference. But blue doesn't have an awful lot of ground combat here. So they've got one from this fighter, none, 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 three. So they've got four ground combat. So that is going to limit their options somewhat. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to land at the top here and take the three points to deprive the red player of the eight points. And this is actually why the blue player chose their cards the way they did. They went, we're going to do a lot of flight in here and just get the points because we, we f he figured that red would be going full out on the top scoring one because that's what he's done the past two rounds. Now that that's failed, he might do something different. So red has one, two, four, six, eight ground combat. So with their eight ground combat, they can't get the points. So I think they're gonna land at the bottom here, which will enable them to take two cards because they each cost four so they will take a power armor this should help them later on with getting more points and also they will take a mine layer now this is an interesting one because we haven't yet encountered mines what they do is reduce the opponent's amount of air combat so our blue player gets the points and we reveal two more planets for our next round. Okay, so choices made yet again. Planet one. And we'll start with the blue player. We've got three cards. So we've got a fighter and two infantry. So that's two air combat. Well, that's better than nothing. And red has three fighters and an ace pilot. So it has four air and four ground. So red will pick first, and with their four ground, they're going to take the points. Then, hmm, four ground, can't go for the points. Well then, I think what they're actually going to do is they're going to pick up they're going to pick up a cruiser. So they'll go for the cruiser, which is landing at the bottom here. Then planet two. So we have got a contest here on planet two. Red just has two inventory though, so no air combat. 
Blue has their destroyer, a fighter, and an infantry. So five air combat and four ground. So blue gets to pick first. They're going to take the four points. They're four ground. I think red is going to colonize with these two cards. So they'll become two points for them. And our next round. So red's picked and blue's picked. So got oh red has their mine layer, a fighter, and power armor. So one, two, three, but they've got the mine layer. Blue has fighter, ace pilot, fighter, and power armor. But that's two, five six, seven, however, the mine layer reduces each of these by one. So it's one, three, three. So they both have three. What we then do to break the tie is look at each player's cards and see which has the highest single space combat value. And that's going to be Blue's Ace Pilot. So Blue just inches out red on this case. So has five, and we'll take the five points. Red then also has five. Unfortunately, can't take the points. So I think what red's going to do... They had not anticipated this. Um, red's going to colonise... No, they're not, because they want to keep both the mine layer and the power armor. Hmm. Okay, what they're going to do is they're going to pick up a heavy fighter, and they're going to colonize with their normal fighter. On to planet two. So, blue has a fighter. Oh. Cards are the wrong way around. Blue has a fighter and a robotic infantry. So four ground combat, but only one air combat. Red, infantry, fighter, fighter. So four ground combat, but two air combat. So beats out blue in this case. So, hmm. Red with four is going to go for the four points. And blue with four, hmm, I think might pick up a cruiser. Yeah, it's going to pick up a cruiser. And getting close to the end of the stack here, just one more round after this coming round, so two to go. So... Okay, red and blue have chosen, and blue, we have fighter, fighter, cruiser, and then that's it for blue, so that's whew, five air power, four ground power, and we have heavy fighter, 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 so that is five air power, Four ground power, so they've both got five and four, but blue again has the higher value card, single card, with his cruiser, which has three, so he wins the tie, and he'll use the four to get the four points, and then hmm, red will use their four, I think they'll use it to archive um to colonize with two cards so they'll get rid of two fighters so they're at least getting two points that way then planet two so blue has a fighter robotic infantry and infantry so two air and five ground and red has ace pilot and a fighter giving them two air and two ground. 
So they've got the same air, but again, blue has the highest single card. So blue goes first with five, we'll go for the points. Red, I think again, is going to um, colonise, set up a garrison with their fighter, so that they're at least getting the one point. And then for the final round, we've got oh a zero card, and of course this card is always the second planet in the final round, so that's worth a huge nine points, and everything on it is just like archive cards and game points. So, right, what we're going to do? And decisions made for our final confrontation, and oh. They've if just flown straight past planet one because it's worth low points. And then to planet two, the big chunky nine pointer. Oh, red has their nine, mine layer, so blue's going to lose one air combat on each of their cards. So red has one, two, three, four, five, six air combat. Blue has. Two, three, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. Eight. So, eight to this guy's. I've forgotten what it was. Four, five, six. So, blue wins. And they do have... How much ground they got? Three, five nine ground so they're gonna of course take the nine points now red then has one two three four five six seven eight nine as well and um, what they're gonna do is land at the bottom here so they can use two twos Yeah, basically they can colonise with three cards, which will get them three points. Okay, so that is then the end of the game. So it's time for us to total up our scores. So let's move all the cards out of the way. And we'll shift along our scoring zones here. Into shot. So we've got red and blue. So we got 4, 8, 11, 15, 20, 24, 29, 38 for blue and for red we've got 6, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 8, 29, 30. So 30 to 38, blue wins.